Holy shit, it's a RuneScape video. Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. My name is Scully, and welcome back to what's going to be a RuneScape video. I'm sure that many of you have been wondering as to why I have not been producing many RuneScape videos. When you've played the game as long as I have, there's a certain level of fatigue, and that certain level of fatigue creates a complete disinterest in whatever the fuck Jagex decides to put out. However, I have been playing. No, 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 silly boys and girls. Now, I haven't been grinding out EXP. Well, I have been doing a little Slayer here and there, but mostly I have just been merching in game. And it turns out that I'm right around the point in time where I'm going to be making my first bill in game just through merching. So basically what we're gonna be talking about is what I've been doing when it comes to merching. We're gonna be talking about bulk trading or bulk merching. And then we're gonna be going into the grand exchange charts which basically graphs the value of an item and displays its highs and lows over a given period of time. And I'll be explaining how I've been using it to help me bulk trade or what bulk merch, whatever the hell it's called, which has ultimately gotten me a decent amount of profit in game. So yeah, despite the fact that I haven't been posting RuneScape videos, I have still been playing RuneScape and I have been learning a lot on my own about how merching works and bulk trading and so on. So let's get in here. Ah uh, yes, the wonderful world of RuneScape. And we are in the Grand Exchange as always. That's where high level players come to make money and do absolutely nothing else. So let's talk about what I've been doing to get me to this point. So if you guys saw my previous video on flipping on RuneScape, I went over an extensive detail on the basic flipping method, which is where you buy an item at a certain point and you sell it at another point. These are high and low margins that an item is being sold at. And as an example, because I actually have to do my merching for the day, I'll show you in detail what I do to make some profit. Now, again, if you saw my last video, this specific portion is going to be just the exact same thing. One specific item I like to merch a lot of are the Primus and Segundus Ascension keys. So we're gonna check out Primus keys right now. Keep in mind, I'm repeating a lot of what's already been said in my previous video. So if you've already seen this part, you can just ignore me. I'll try to put a timestamp somewhere so you can skip right to the bulk trading. For those of you who have stayed during this portion, we're gonna be doing basic trading. In a sense, this is basically bulk trading, but it's smaller amounts and it comes and goes quickly. Where bulk trading, you're buying larger amounts of items holding on to them for longer periods of time and selling later for even more profit. So we're going to check out the Primus Ascension keys. So Primus, we're going to buy one. You can literally, you can literally do that if you wanted to. It's, it's not going to do anything because there's going to be a cap on how high players are selling them for. So we're just going to hit that twice. This is going to give us our high margin. We're going to pull that out. We're going to take the same key. We're going to sell it. And this is going to give us our low margin. Now again, I'm only reiterating this for the people who haven't seen my previous video. So here we have our high margin, and here we have our low margin. That simple. Low margin, all that means is you can buy the item for this price. High margin is you can sell it for this price. I'm retarded when it comes to math, so we're going to be using a calculator. So 769,000 minus 757,000, give or take a little change over there. So once you subtract the high margin from the low margin, that is your profit. That is the expected gains you can get per key. This is all pretty simple stuff. And again, I explained this in my previous video. I hate to reiterate it, but just so you guys know. So right now, I'm going to buy 100 of these Primus keys for this price. 757005. Enter, and we're going to buy 100 of them. Now keep in mind, you do need some capital to be able to do this. This isn't, this isn't something that you would be able to do starting. Maybe you could buy smaller amounts and work your way up. It's a lot slower. As you know, flipping is one of those games that the longer you play, the better you get at it. So we're going to confirm that. And over time, that order will fill. I'm going to also do Segundus keys because Segundus keys have been also very good as of late. We're going to do the same thing again. Just bump it up twice there. doesn't really matter. So we got the high and low margin for the Segundus keys. And the math here says that we can make a profit of 4.1k per key. Now here's the thing. Yeah, you can do this to make a profit of 4k. That is actually a pretty decent amount. But sometimes I would just skip something like this altogether. Because I ask myself this question. Is the money invested worth the possible gains? Now the price fluctuation for these keys at times tend to allow for much more than 11k per key profit. For example, the Primus keys like two or three days ago, I was making 50k profit per key. Now, it's not always like that, as you know, the Grand Exchange fluctuates, but there are certain times where the gaps start to spread apart 
and you can make big gains off of something like that yeah you could do it you can make the money but it's not always worth it you can always invest that money into something else if the margins are wider one thing i like to do if if i see the margins for these keys are this low i'll wait maybe four hours later on during the day and see if the margins have changed and at times more than not the margins will get wider and there will be a lot more profit to be made. Now I can't give you specific times because it's always random, but keep in mind that every four hours you can trade up to 300 of these keys. So would you rather trade them now where you can only make 4k profit per key or would you rather trade them later where the margins are much wider? If you're someone who's constantly in the GE, I say go for it. Profit is profit. But just because there's slight profit to be made doesn't mean you need to invest immediately. Now the second thing we're going to talk about is bulk trading. And this is where massive amounts of money can be made. The problem is the period of time after spending the money that you'll have to wait until receiving the money in return is a lot wider where these Primus keys, these Ascension keys, the gain in money is much quicker. And that is what I want to show you guys here. So what you guys see here is 50k soul runes. Now why am I showing you this? This is where the Grand Exchange charts come in. So ladies and gents, this is the Grand Exchange page which can be found on the main page of RuneScape. And all this does is keep track of the value of any item over a certain period of time. So we're going to do soul runes because this is something that I like to do. Now I've never been big into actual like stock market trading so I don't know the actual terminology for this stuff. This is just stuff that I taught myself. But peaks and valleys baby, that's where the money is. So here we are in the Grand Exchange charts. And what we are viewing specifically is the price fluctuation of soul runes over a six month period of time. And as you can see, the price was at around 1K. It dropped down to around 650 GP, went up, went back down. And right now it is here. Now you can use this chart to actually gain you profit over time. And this is where bulk trading comes in. Yeah, a hundred items isn't going to do it for you, but if you're able to get your hands on several hundred thousand of a specific item and you use these charts, massive profit can be made. I'm talking about in correlation with smaller flipping, like I showed you previously, you will never have to pay for RuneScape membership ever again. Once again, you need a capital to do this, but if you have that, you're pretty much set. I'm talking about like 105 mil, which can be made just by bossing. So right now I'm showing you a bunch of lines and numbers. What does it all mean? Well, ladies and gents, they mean everything, whether if it's the relevancy of an item, how much it's used in game, the popularity of an item, same thing. And you can see that all here. The relevancy or the popularity of an item can be tracked through the Grand Exchange charts. Usually, if a item is skyrocketing, that means that it's being used quite often. If an item is crashing, that means it's being used less often. From here to here, you can tell that there was a period of two weeks where the items were skyrocketing, players were buying them more often, and then all of a sudden, they stopped buying them. It's just how the market works and you can use these charts to decide when you want to buy and when you want to sell so what i was able to learn and no one taught me this so i'm giving you guys just like off the cuff what i know is you want to buy at a certain point like this and i actually did buy around this time and you want to sell at a certain point like this now keep in mind time period from here to here that's april 11th and that is May 12th. So that's a decent period of time. You actually have to hold on to that item before you can actually sell it, but the profit is way more. For example, this is one bulk trade that I did. I think it was around April 11th or 19th, or yeah, around the 19th or 11th, I was able to buy about 75K soul runes for around 700 GP, sold them later down the line for 1.2K each. Now these aren't the exact numbers, but this is just from what I remember. So I spent around 52 point five mil i think it was a little more than that but just giving you guys a general gist 52.5 mil and i sold them later down the line for about 1.2k piece so 1.2k times 75,000. so 1.2k times 75,000 is 90 mil and 52.5 mil minus 90 mil is 37.8 mil so i would have made a profit of 37.8 mil over that period of time which was i believe around two weeks now a little more goes into deciding whether or not you want to invest in a certain item like this or any item i like to call the main dictator in deciding game sense what do i mean by game sense basically it's just being in the know of the state of the game is one is the game even popular two would be game updates is there a game update that is going to manipulate the value of a specific item that you're trying to flip now that can be either a good or a bad thing i'll give you guys a good example around the time i made my first 
RuneScape merging video. It was probably like a month before the archaeology update came out. Around that time, the price of Ascending Keys weren't as high as they were now, but they were rising, and you were able to make a profit out of them. But my prediction was that as soon as the archaeology update had come out, the price value on the Ascension Keys would drop. Why? That's because more players would be inclined to do the new archaeology skill instead of going to the Ascension Dungeon and actually bossing for money. Basically, it would take the majority of the player base from PvE to the straight skilling. What happens then? Well, then you have a overflow of these Ascension Keys that aren't being bought. And what are merchants going to do? They're going to drop the prices down so people buy them. And in turn, that drives the entire price down for that specific item. And that's what I'm talking about in game sense. How will a game update affect the item that you're selling? Now that's just one example. There are plenty of examples like this. Let's say you have a level 85 armor set, just generic armor set. And Jagex is planning to release a level 90 armor set within the coming week. Now, in my opinion, it would not be a good idea to invest in a boatload of level 85 armor sets if a new armor set is coming out that would make that armor set obsolete. Because as soon as that armor set is released to the public and people have their hands on it, the price of that item is going to rise and the price of the obsolete armor set is going to decrease and if you have a ton of them the general value of your stash is going to crash and you're going to end up losing money in the long term so that's basically how i've been using these charts the bulk trade now the bulk trade that i have going right now are my soul runes and this is this is the third time that i've actually bulk traded soul runes for some reason these are just the most profitable runes but you can technically do this to any item i feel safer doing it with items like ruins because their price fluctuations aren't that crazy. And I've explained this before in my previous videos, where the price fluctuations for armors over consumables is much more drastic, and you have a bigger chance of losing much more money. But in turn, with armors and weapons, you can make more money. Basically, the price fluctuations for consumables like this are much more predictable. And you can save money if you realize that whatever bulk item you have is crashing by selling it immediately. So the item I'm working on right now, again, is Soul Ruins. I had bought Soul Ruins for about 2K, and they're currently a piece. They're at almost 2.5K. So you get what I'm talking about. You buy these items and you sell them when they're at their highest and you use these charts to delegate when's the appropriate time to do that now there are no high and low margins like when it comes to flipping you know you don't get that instant answer you buy them here you sell them here you have to use the chart to figure out what would be the po best point in time to do that so i saw that soul ruins already had a peak before i decided to buy it august 13 they were selling at 3.2k i had bought them around august 27th 26 or so and i could tell they had already crashed so that means everything above is profit and you can see that these items are skyrocketing not all items are like this and we'll go into one more example of something that i'm doing i'm using that as my high margin i'm using where it's at right now as my low margin it just turns out that soul ruins have been really easy to work with if you're interested in doing it i highly recommend it the items are still skyrocketing right now give it a shot now we're going to talk about a different kind of item that i've been flipping so here we have summoning pouches now these are just the base item summoning pouches. The full price for this is like 4 GP. And the chart here is actually pretty interesting. The chart says that the item is at average selling at 4 GP a piece. At its lowest, it's selling around three and you definitely can get it around two GP. And the chart is also saying that at max, the item is selling at six GP. Yes, realistically, these are all small numbers, but if you buy them in large amounts, there's massive amounts of profit to be made. We'll go back into my grand exchange. So here we are at my grand exchange, and this is just something that I do. If I see that there's an item that can be bought at a certain low price, then I'll sell it at either average or above average price. Because a player won't give a fuck when it comes to spending four to six GP per item. It's just not a big deal. But for you, you're buying them at a much lower price and larger quantities of them. So here I have an order for pouches for two GP. And you see there that last four hours i was able to get all but one and i'm selling them for average price which is 4 gp there are people selling items for below average prices yes realistically this isn't a lot of money but what matters is it is a flow of cash in your direction for little to no effort so i'm spending four mil on two million pouches but if i sold them all for twice or if i sold them all for twice the price I'm making another 4 mil on top of that. So if this order filled right now, I could totally flip them for twice the price, which is a big freaking gap. I make another 4 mil for free, basically. And give or take, within probably a little less than a week, probably much less than a week, a few days actually, 
I'm going to be hitting my first mill just off of flipping. And uh, it's pretty cool. I log in maybe two, three times a day, check my grand exchange, and profit. So all right, folks, that is going to be the end of this RuneScape video. Do me a favor, guys. If you enjoyed something or learned something new about flipping, please drop me a like. It really means a lot to me. We just recently hit 200 subscribers, and I know a lot of people who are actually subscribed to me come from my RuneScape videos. Now, I apologize that I'm not able to do the fully edited RuneScape videos like I normally did. But between working a full-time job and trying to stay sane in that full-time job, realistically, it's just a lot easier for me to make videos where I am actively playing something. I have been streaming RuneScape here and there. If you ever see me online, you're more than welcome to join the stream. Ask me any questions you have about flipping or RuneScape in general. Literally anything in general. I'll be more than happy to answer. I love talking to my viewers. And with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys on my next Let's Play. I hope you guys all have a good day. My name is Scully, and I'm signing out. Goodbye.